Teesside Animal Charities warn of imminent housing crises as shelters reach breaking point. With the cost of living crisis continuing to suffocate households and bills skyrocketing, many families are resorting to rehoming their beloved pets, and it is crippling animal shelters across the UK. This year, the RSPCA recorded a 24% increase in pets being abandoned at shelters or on the streets amid the growing economic crisis, and Teesside isn't an exception. Shelters across our region are experiencing the biggest influx of pets that some of them have ever seen. Many animal shelters rely on the kind donations of strangers and animal lovers, but even those are starting to disappear. Without these vital funds, many of these organizations are watching their pet food supply dwindle, which begs the question, what will they do when it inevitably runs out? To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. Saltburn Animal Rescue Association, Sarah, is facing the longest waiting list that it has ever seen in its 37 years of operation. According to on-site volunteer Abigail Armstrong, 36, this influx of animals is three times worse than it was during the pandemic. She added, we've had non-stop calls from people wanting to rehome their pets and from other rescues who just don't have the capacity. Just the other day we had one asking us to home 15 cats that had either been abandoned or given up. In the 12 years that I've worked here, I've never seen anything like it. We use donations to care for the animals most of the time, but they've really dwindled off quite a lot. We're running out of cat food, we've completely run out of dog treats, and with more and more kittens being brought in, we're running out of essential food for them too. We've been asking for more donations and people have responded, but not quite the same as they did before," Abigail added. It seems as though people are really tightening their belts. We're trying out best to think of ways to cut back without impacting the animals. Further down the road in Darlington, the Dogs Trust Rehoming Center is also bearing the brunt of the cost of living crisis. With adoption numbers dropping, because people cannot afford to take on a new dog, this has the potential to lead to an imminent housing crisis for the nation's pups. Owen Sharp, Dogs Trust CEO, says, the UK is fast heading towards a situation in which, due to the cost of living crisis, we'll have a surplus of dogs whose owners need to give them up, but a deficit of people who can afford to take on a new dog. Dogs Trust is issuing an urgent call for emergency foster carers, especially people with experience in caring for big dogs, who can provide a port and a storm to a dog who, for the moment, has nowhere else to go. If you can help, we urge you to get in touch with us and help look after the nation's dogs through this crisis. Likewise, if you're struggling to afford to look after your own dog, Dogs Trust will do all it can to help. I'm afraid we can't promise miracles, but we're always here to listen without judgment, talk through the options, and give dog owners the benefit of our expert knowledge. Another shelter on T's side, Yarm Cat Rescue, has continued to reach out to its followers in a bid to raise as much money as it possibly can. Selfless volunteers use their own income to care for the cats that they help, and the organization has felt the brunt of cost of living crisis for some time. According to a poll, vet bills continue to cause the most worry. 55% of Northeast dog owners said vet bills were currently their biggest financial canine concern for the coming year. Almost 31% were most worried about the cost of dog food, while around 1 in 10 named insurance as their lead worry.